Somerville, we are back again. This is Art at Scat. I did go home in between to go home, you know, and do that. But I came back because we have a fabulous guest, an artist who is a resident of Somerville and a fashionista as well, <laughs> and a painter and a, uh, just an artist all around. I, I considered it painting, but it's other things that she does mm -hmm. and that you do. And her name, by the way, is Liz LaManche. Is that not the perfect name? <laughs> I, there are people after the show that will want your name, so you can just like write it down and just to do whatever. And uh, you have, I saw your work on, on your website. Mm -hmm. It feels weird that I should say I was trolling. <laughs> and I just knew that you would be perfect for the show. That was very sweet of you. Thank you. And, and, then, she came, and then you came down to, to check me out at my reception mm -hmm. to make sure that I was um, normal. That was great. I loved yeah. your work. Well, I didn't want to make sure you were normal, but <laughs> I'm glad we got along. Yeah, that was perfect. That was wonderful. Uh, so welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming down and for sharing your work. Thanks for having me. I'm glad we're doing this. Oh, I am too. It's just like so much. Oh, and Jason's over there, in case you're wondering. He's, he's very cute, and he's sitting over there. So, um, Now, tell me about your, you as an artist. What mediums do you work in? Um, well, I wanted to show you today this uh, series of portraits okay. that I've been doing for a while, and I'm really excited about them. I'm, I'm sneaking home every once in a while and doing doing more of them because um, it's really about Somerville and the people I know and love and how important it is to be yourself. Yes, um, and faces. So these are my heroes. I'm celebrating everyone who is brave enough to be totally themselves. You know what? That is... It doesn't that have to be normal. Yes. Normal is way overrated. So where would you like us to start? Um, well, I guess up here. This is how we here. met. This, this, this was <laughs> right. the moment when I was looking through, and I know this man. <laughs> so do tell us. Um, this is Rob Patillo, who's locally famous for a YouTube series called Quiet Desperation. Um, I met him on a set of another shoot, and he was just sweet and nice and wonderful. And um, but he asked at some point for help getting, he wanted pictures of him for some YouTube promotional thing. So I took that as a challenge. He's Produced wonderful. this in 24 hours. I um, snuck through a whole bunch of his video to get just the right expression. See, and this is it. Now I know him as Robbie Roadsteamer. That was the comedian. Time, right. And he would actually like, if, this, if, this, if the bar had a drop ceilings, they no longer had drop ceilings by the time he finished. Cause, and it was not just music, he made points. He's, he's a very thoughtful guy. So, um, but you captured, I mean, the eyes. This is more of the quiet desperation character, right? And he loves the hat, he loves his hats. Mm -hmm. He loves his hats. And the colors that she chose for background and just bringing out his eyes and everything. I love bright colors like that too. And that's his personality. I, I mean, I don't know him really well, but from when I've seen him, that's him. <laughs> and that's his favorite hat, I think. I think so. Now, you, you didn't have him pose for it, though. You went through photos. I went through videos, like freeze-framed, just to get the right expression. OK, so now we know she's also I patient. Yes, yeah, some, some of these I was uh, trolling through people's Facebook images, and sometimes I do combinations of them to get just the right expression that really captures them. So knowing the personality, for, and this is for people um, that have asked you to do images of them? No, usually it's unasked, just... Okay, <laughs> just wanted to I clarify. I see a picture, or I ha in my life there are people that I want to celebrate, and I enjoy who they are. I love faces. I love portraits. You know, landscapes, uh, they're okay. But faces, they're wonderful. And uh, is there anything else you want to tell us about, about him? Uh, I like the, this view of him because it's the just quintessential expression, like totally without guile. I think people can relate to that. 
I can hear his voice. <laughs> I can hear his voice in this, so this is great. And um, should we go to the next one? or? Sure. Uh, this is one that I just finished. Um, this is um, the artist Barrington Edwards in Boston. He's also an art teacher, um, and he does um, Afrofuturist uh, comic books mm -hmm. or graphic novel type of stories. Um, and here is a um, uh, Adinkra symbol for peace. I didn't realize he's that. Very much about understanding amongst people and why can't we all chill and get along. So he's one of my heroes too. And I love that you you bring out the the largest of each person. You bring out their spirit. You exceed the line that you put there so that we get the sense that he is bigger than life. That's a gift that the artist can give mm -hmm. their subject is that, wow, look at you. Mm -hmm. And the eyes and just the fact that he is not on the full page, but you can almost, I swear, I can <laughs> see him at the edge. So you have to come and see right. this because it's quite beautiful. And this is, again, what's the medium? Uh, this is pen and ink and pencil. This is beautiful. And photos of him? Or did he, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You do glasses really good. Dolan from, there's something about the peeking over your glasses thing that's very immediate and it's kind of sharing a joke. Mm -hmm. It brings intimacy into it. Yeah. And I love the city in the sky. Mm -hmm. And this is a unfinished one that I was just working on today. Um, this is Ehawk, who's the accordion player for Emperor Norton's Stationary Marching Band. Which is located or plays out of? Somerville. Okay. Just so people know. Mm -hmm. They were one of the first bands in the Hawk Festival. Okay. Here. And you capture everything about her. It's beautiful. I like the winking eye. And this is the only and time the also, octopus looks friendly. <laughs> and she also draws really fun little characters and like cephalopods. So I wanted to put that in as something emblematic of her too. And it almost has that, she's a pirate of sorts. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you did that so well. And then all this excitement around her and that she's so cool, she can just like blink at you and know this is it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And she does her hair in these wonderful twists. So I wanted to I was going to ask you, was the, the that the octopus is admiring them <laughs> and hoping that they can do the same. They're trying mm -hmm. to figure out how to do the same. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So I can't wait to color that one. So you'll do that with pen and ink. Yeah. Wow. And is there another one behind that? I can't remember uh, what nope. we did. So I'm going to take but him pink. down. Yeah. And we can. You all are in for a treat. In for a treat. This one is one of my old friends, uh, Sable. Um, they started the Esh Circus School in Somerville. Mm -hmm. And lots of excitement here mm -hmm. and elegance. They call this look the uh, boyish witchy peacock. I personally like the shoulder, the off the shoulder, like <laughs> dignified, <laughs> flirty, and everything else. And it, you give your friends such love through these. I mean, they're done carefully, um, but it's not even the careful part. It's the, it, you're so expressive. It's like a, a Valentine of sorts. You know, it's it's just beautiful. You should have. We should all have friends like this <laughs> who can do this for us. Of course, I, I really enjoy who they all are, and I want to make the most of that and share yeah. that with the world. And that's a rare person. That's rare friendships, too, that you accept who they are. They accept you who you are. And then you're able to capture it, too. That's a safe place to be. How long does it take you to do your pieces? Mm, usually a few days. And Sometimes are you, the right things come together, and, and it'll happen in an afternoon. Sometimes I have to go, keep going back to it over time. Yeah. Let the ideas settle. 
and laying it out because people think sometimes we just hit the canvas or the paper and it just comes. But a lot of times it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. And it's not, some, sometimes it's a struggle and sometimes it's just like sorting it all out because there's all this richness and then we've got to figure out, okay, mm -hmm. which are the rubies, which are the diamonds, which are the, you know, and then bring it together. Parties at her house must be fabulous. <laughs> That's all I can say. Absolutely fabulous. And I know all the best people. <laughs> and this is our friend Masha. And the title of this is something more on the order of Masha as an And Andorian dreaming of avocados. Okay. And I love that. Because I thought I it was you. Why. Nope. She has, you know what it is? It's the, um, the smile. She has exactly that, like, winsome little smile. And also the antenna, because you, with you, no, I'm only kidding. But I like the antenna. I and I, didn't show. I love <laughs> the plant. I love that it, it looks like it's traditional mm -hmm. in that the, the window panes are, and everything. And then you're just like, uh-uh, <laughs> not even close. Right. I'm taking you somewhere else. Mm. And then uh, there's a beauty in her eyes. Mm. And when you're, you're doing these, what, what's going on? Like, where's your, do you know it, uh, where of where you are in your head? Like, mm. It just makes me happy. Uh, I'm just sort of enjoying who they are and also the technical challenge of making a good picture, um, problem solving of where the colors go and how to exaggerate it just a little bit to make it even cooler. And it's weird, it takes you into a place of meditation too at the same time where it's a little yeah. stressful trying to lay it out, mm -hmm. but then at the same time I find that it's, it's the most peaceful place you can go to until the doorbell rings. But it is the most peaceful place. The zone, you know mm -hmm. And people ask about the zone, and it's it just, you'll find your place, you'll find the zone when you find what the medium is. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have you been painting? Uh, pretty much forever, as, as early as I could hold a crayon, but um, for real, um, I've gotten back to it more seriously in the last three or four years. Um, I also had a career as a graphic designer and did online web design and that sort of thing, uh, user interface for software. So I've always been visual, mm -hmm. figuring out what things ought to look like. Um, but I hit a certain point in my life and I just sort of thought, what am I really on this planet to accomplish? I want to get back to what feels important. So I started doing more public art and more art in general. And that we need to talk about, but first I want to make sure that we get to the rest of these, but yeah. you are multi-talented in all that you this bring. This here is a print because the original is in someone's house, but it's uh, Chuck, the band leader of Emperor Norton's stationary marching band. Mm -hmm. um, he's an old friend and I was around when they were forming the band and that was great fun. So he's just got tons of personality as you can see. And I just love that he's got the octopus then, and then <laughs> right. sea life. He's still behind the sea life. And the way you incorporated his name, I love that. And he's got a very open face. And then this is a little um, uh, pin of his wife, Rummy. Oh, very. They were just engaged when I did this picture. Now married. Mm -hmm. See what happens with your magic? Yeah. <laughs> And this one is another friend of ours through Circus, um, Rich Risberger, who does an act now down in uh, Asheville, North Carolina, called Uncle Woland. I've seen him do it a couple of times. He, he tells frightening and weird uh, German fairy tales oh. as this, this German character. And you've captured that with the dragons? And then the snakes and the mm -hmm. and the f fairy tales were meant to be scary too in the beginning. Yeah. So for those of you that didn't know that, that is a fact that we've established on the show. <laughs> yes. Yes. And he just has that look of um, 
I'm going, going to, to tell, tell you a story. Yeah, and it's going to be a good <laughs> story, and you're going to pay attention. Mm -hmm. You have no options but to pay attention. And then the style of the person is just so clear. Um, mm -hmm. Did you capture that? You know, it's, it's nice. Some people try to, oh, no, clean it up, clean it up, do this, that. And you don't find that that much now, but then in some ways you do. Mm -hmm. But I like that you give people, it's all about them. It's all about them. And if you could make that into a tie, I think you would sell a lot of them. <laughs> I think they would be very popular. So tell me more. Let's on that. We can go into business. There we are. It happened here. Tell me more about your process. Um, as I said, sometimes it's taking a picture. Masha, we took a picture in a pub. Uh, sometimes it's going through all of their Facebook selfies and choosing one or a combination of them. Sometimes some picture that I see that they took just excites me and I get their permission to turn it into an art. So it's always with permission. Mm -hmm. And like when you're in the zone, mm -hmm. like you must be feeling really happy. Yeah, it's translating that into an actual drawing and then figuring out how to make it more graphic, like what lines and shapes are really going to pop and come together to make them them. It's a hard. It's, yeah, it's connecting with them and also with the problem solving of getting it to hang together. And there's a lot it's that goes really into fun. <laughs> you make it look easy, but it's, there's a lot. When I, I didn't mean that as a, a down. Mm -hmm. It's just that you're, it, it just glides. All your work just glides in. And it, it's starting to get easier. Practice always helps. And that's one of the things, practice. What about your background in art? You said that you'd been drawing as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, Was there anything? Did you do art classes? Did you do... I always took whatever art classes were available. Uh, my grandfather, my Romanian grandfather, was a very good artist. So I got to see him working and see some of the things that he did. Mm -hmm. um, also, in terms of outlook, I think one thing, one story that I'd love to share with you is that uh, when I was small, we were in the Air Force and we lived in Turkey and Germany. Uh, not on the air base, but really in town. So I had like little Turkish playmates and little German playmates. And I got back to the U.S. with more of a sense of there's a big, beautiful world out there and many valid ways to live. So I think that's sort of the root of this celebrating differences and wanting everyone to be themselves. That's quite a combination. Turkish uh, friends mm -hmm. and German. Mm. And the, all these little kids mm. running around. And they all know how to play together. Mm -hmm. It's uncomplicated. I remember uh, meeting someone who grew up in the UN schools. Mm. And it was weird because she said whatever the parents ate, whatever the mother, whoever the mother of whatever nationality the mother was, she ruled the kitchen. Mm. So that they would get, you get pizza? We don't get pizza. So they'd go over for pizza night over here. <laughs> they would do that. And it was just, it was a nice, it was really nice to think of kids just experimenting with food, you with color, with, um, I don't know, it, it's, they're so striking. Each one. Oh, I didn't show you Katie. Oh. Where's Katie? Uh-oh. Did you find Speaking her? Speaking of color. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's a fire spinner and she took this picture as a selfie when she was very happy out on the playa one day. So um, tell us about the fire, what is fire spinning? Uh, it's manipulating objects in a dance and the objects are on fire. Okay. Could be poi, could be fans, could be other things. So she's a performer and I just wanted to capture that immediacy and happy feeling that she conveyed in, in her picture. And that energy. And make it more so. Is that her hair? I mean, her that hat? That is a hat. She's got it. The, 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 the mm. color, everything pops. And uh, the, the colors that she used to, to bring out. Mm -hmm. I think color make, makes people happy. 
It does. It makes me happy. And it's electric on her. She, Katie, you wear the colors well. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like dancing around. It's so strong. Mm -hmm. And I love the eyes, like what you did with Rob's eyes. Mm -hmm. Your eyes are very expressive. And including your eyes, your real eyes are very <laughs> expressive. <laughs> oh, I have one more here. Okay. Do you mind if I put this here? Yeah, please. Whoa. Ripley. Tell us. Who now goes by the performance name, I think, on Facebook, etc., of New Queer Power. I'm so happy that I knew someone named New Queer Power. Yes. Take She's got tons of like energy, personality, too. I wanted to show that with the, the colors. And just, that's outstanding. All of the work is outstanding. And it, it just comes to life. When you come to the gallery for the month of June, you are just going to be totally, I don't care what mood you're in, if you're in a good mood, you'll be in a better mood. <laughs> if you're not in a good mood, you will be leaving this exhibit energized in the most positive way. Because there's, there's nothing but great feeling in it. You know, it's a spirit. You really brought in a spirit here. And it'll make you feel great about Somerville because all these people are right here, part of our culture. And you'll be looking down the streets <laughs> like, are they here? Are they here yet? I see you. I know you. Do you know Liz? <laughs> you know, the, it's, it's just so much energy. Your home, I get the feeling that your home must be exploding like the colors, like in your paintings. Like I could walk past wherever you live and it's like, shoom, shoom, shoom. It is purple. Okay, <laughs> okay. But it's like the mad scientist type thing, and it's like, it's just, oh, color is all over. This, I, I, I just love the way you, you did the traditional face and then just boom, took it to the next level. And the glasses, you do do glasses so well. <laughs> There's something really enjoyable about that particular look. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. And it keeps a distance, and you can still see. So in my That's case, though, I'd have to wear them closer up because I want to be able to see all of you. Mm -hmm. But yes, when they come down, it A gives friend of mine used to call that naked eye sex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when you're looking at, at somebody's actual eyes, not through the That's glasses. That's very nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. And then you can also just do the, like mm -hmm. that. And you, right. when you're handling the glasses, it's like, don't mess with me. Or yes, you can mess with me. I'm giving you permission. It's the threatening librarian look, too. Oh, I like that. So <laughs> um, anyone who sells eyeglasses and designs eyeglasses, you may want to come and talk to this woman because she's got some great ideas and colors. Unfortunately, the new big round ones, they're really hard to look over. No, I don't like them as much. They're sort of like the 60s glasses, the Jackie O glasses, <laughs> right. just to hide the face. But you're going to find a way. You will find a way. Look around the side. <laughs> or go into the middle. Hmm. See, I watch a lot of science fiction. <laughs> so they'd be like, zing. Just drill them out and look through holes in the middle. <laughs> You know, it's funny, your, your colors have that psychedelic quality, but they're not retro. So mm -hmm. what you've done to them is not, I wouldn't say that it's like vintage, it's fresh, it's, um, you've used it in a way, you know, like some people will make it look like, oh, hipster or whatever. Oh. I've been kind of skirting around the 60s posterized psychedelic colors things, mm -hmm. but I keep being sucked into putting more detail than that. Yeah, like the Beatles with the, and all the psychedelic, mm -hmm. um, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, it's an interesting time for art. Mm -hmm. I and love that stuff graphically, too. Because it did. It played with your eyes, the concentric circles. That's so much the, fun. <laughs> and I just wondered when you were creating them, like, what were you thinking, too? But you definitely, and a lot of the peace and political work was in those were in those posters and in that work. Um, so it's a good tradition to go back to right now, especially now. So go back, go back, go back, please, people, because we need it. I'm not going to say anything else other than we need it. Jason's just cracking up over there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is the energy you need. It's just, I don't. It's 
it's calming, but at the same time, it makes me want to go out and paint <laughs> and write. And like, you know, like if you're not feeling- Joie de vivre. Yes. If you need to be plugged in anywhere, people, this is the place. This is the place. So I know we don't have much time, but uh, any words of wisdom that you might give to people who are out there? Because you know they're shy people. Now, I can't do that. <laughs> Um, so what I'm saying with all of this stuff is please, please be yourself. Uh, the old adage, if you don't do it, who else will? Um, I think the world can be made so much better by people being free to actually be who they really are, not feel threatened about that. It makes it safe for other people to come out of their shell and be themselves. And it lets you operate from a place of not fear, but actual genuine feeling. And that's what allows people to connect with each other in a much better way. And it's not scary. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I made this up, but it seems like conformity is not for everyone. <laughs> it's so simple, but I'm sure that it must have been a poster somewhere. So many but people are walking around in fear doing the conformity thing, having to feel like they're normal or afraid yeah. because they don't think they're actually normal. Or they're safe if they just follow that. So, but so few people are actually normal and it doesn't matter anyway. But conformity, just remember, conformity is not for everyone. And <laughs> if, it, if it's not for you, that's okay. That's perfectly okay. But I can't make up my mind if I conformed and made or made that up, but I was thinking about it the <laughs> other day. Everyone says that. Oh, they do? <laughs> good, good. That's good to know. So it's um, every person's wisdom. Mm. Very nice. And you will be, you will have a reception. So you're going to come down, see the reception. We don't have a date yet, but it will be posted. Mm. And then you meet the Hopefully artist. Hopefully the next cup, the next week or so, a Monday or Tuesday. This is a woman of action. Yes. This is a woman of action. So take heed, people. These are words you don't use very often. Take heed. Um, I get so thrown with that language. Um, and so you get to meet the artist, see her enchanting wardrobe, see the enchanting personality that creates this, all these images of faces that come alive, and then you'll leave here inspired. It's like, it's, yes. it's perfect. Just let her touch you like this. Go ahead. Oh, I already feel like I want to paint. That's it. That's it. You already do paint. I do. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> see, I want to paint even more. Even Jason's inspired. He's sitting there going, don't say another word about me, Janet, please. He's <laughs> hoping you will distract me. But I, I need to say to everyone, um, it has been a joy having you here. Thank you so much. You, Tremendous fun. You are the queen of color here <laughs> and energy. Thank you. Um, and... I look forward to seeing you at the reception, at your reception. And, uh, you know, people. Try to spread some happiness. Mm hmm If you know somebody that's, you know, feeling down, bring them over mm. after the reception, too, because it will be up for the month of June. Hang out with all the silly people. Mm hmm And it's graduation time, so all you graduates out there, you better bring, you know, this is your big chance to tell mom and dad, let me tell you what life is really like, because mm. chances are you will bond on that. <laughs> okay, generation gap, you will bond on that. Bring everyone around. This is what you do with your education. It's not just the painting, it's learning to be who you are. And you have a magnificent teacher here. She's great at that, she'll give you the PhD. And uh, it's- You're great at boiling it all down. Thank oh, you for that. <laughs> I get so excited, I get so excited. So thank you so much for being our guest and being so brave and flexible. Fun. Thank you very much. And when you see her out there, and you'll know who she is, by the way, she's dressed, she's gorgeous, mm -hmm. that you just go and just say, can I have your autograph? Can I have your autograph? Mm -hmm. Then she'll touch you, and then you'll go, oh, I can paint. It's a miracle. <laughs> so thank you again for being here. Thank you for letting us into your living room, dining room. I know now with technology, we can be anywhere with you. Mm -hmm. um, so wherever you are, pass the word about Art at Scat. Um, let other artists, Somerville artists, know. So I invite you all to contact me so that you too can bring your art and your gifts and show them off. Was it painful? Uh, no, it was wonderful. I love what you do with the show, giving people a chance to do this. I got too carried away talking too much because oh, you, you just inspired perfect. me all over the place. 
Um, and set me right at ease. Oh, uh, this is, it's been an honor. And you all just come in here and do stuff. And you can ask for Jason. That'll just make his life that much easier. He's cute. And he does a really good job. Yeah, he's right over there. And, um, and we'll say nothing else. We don't want to get him in trouble. But he's got a great smile. And uh, yeah, it's a great place. Come to SCAT. Because you know what? Community Access Television, that's where it is. Put your money here. And Somerville, you have a great town. You're a sanctuary city, and we appreciate that. Hot damn. Yeah, you know, proud, proud people that you are. And Mr. Mayor, you are the man. So thank you all. And now get ready to paint. <laughs> thank you. I, I shouldn't yell at the audience, I guess. But get ready to paint. It's important. Yeah. And that's our time. Assalamu alaikum, people. Peace be to you. Till next month. Bye.